Hello, hello. <sighs> I'm so happy to get someone on the phone. I mean, this is a real hair emergency. Okay, and what is it about? I'm so scared to end up with my natural hair color. Uh, you shouldn't have. Hey, what's up? It's Sarah again and welcome to another hair transformation video. I wanted to go colorful. But as you guys can see, I have super dark hair, almost black. And everybody knows this means you have to bleach. If you do it by yourself, you need to get some bleaching powder. This is the one I got. I went to my local hairdresser store, it's called Hair House, and I got their own branded hair bleaching powder. Special about it, it contains argan oil. And you also need to get some developer. I got this 6 volume developer for my dark brown half Asian hair. Let's see how it works. Since I bleached my hair before, when I was younger, many times I knew this is going to be a big bleaching journey before I am able to put on my purple hair color. This is always exciting because you can also badly damage your hair. But you know, I'm not scared. Yes! Let's start with the perfect bleaching dough. I call it dough because it's actually like you're baking in the kitchen and create a dough for your pancakes or anything else. Yeah, it's the same. Or better, almost the same because I wouldn't recommend to eat it and bake it. <laughs> but anyways, mixing formula is 1 to 2 and you start with the bleaching powder. Put the ble bleaching powder first into your mixing cup and then add by very little steps the developer. You do this because you need a real even consistency and that's what you get only by adding little steps of the developer, like cooking. Okay, let's start with the first bleaching session. Last pose with dark brown hair. And I started at the back of my head to bleach my hair. Because I know the hair in the back needs always longer to get blonde than the other parts. So I did this part first and then wash it out and after that I do the top and the front part. I don't know why I use this foiling kind of technique to bleach the front part of my hair. It was a bad idea afterwards, but you will see why. But I think I thought this might be stronger and the front part of my hair will be get, getting more blonde in a faster time. I don't know, but you know guys, I always, <laughs> that's, that's seriously just me. I always like to try out different things. <laughs> nämlich schon so aus. I didn't buy enough developer and now I had to send my boyfriend to buy me some. Yeah. Until now it looks like this. But actually I'm quite alright with it from now on. Let's see, I hope this is not going to be a catastrophe or I don't know, even if I have a lot of experience, but I'm always a little scared, yes. Yep. Some of you asked maybe why I didn't dye my roots. Um, I actually did it because I saw it on some YouTube videos where some professionals did it that way. <laughs> Yeah, of course I used this silver shampoo and by the way, I 
I have to tell you that it works like nothing. Yeah, after the first washout I saw I wasn't accurate, I wasn't working accurate enough. I have still some dark parts and yeah, lots of red pigments are still left and no purple hair dye will stick on that base, I'm sure. Here after the blow dry you can see, I don't know, I have caramel kind of hair now. This is so not what I'm going or what I wanted to have. Yeah, let's step th to the next bleaching session. Second day of my bleaching session and this day I decided it's over with all the tryouts and use the technique I always use to use. This means to bleach from your roots to the ends. I am forced to get an even finish at that moment. Speed this up a little bit, I don't want you to get bored. And as you guys can see, I decided to dye my or to bleach my eyebrows too. And to me, now it almost looks way better than the first bleach. Hello, different person. Yeah, as you see, second bleach came out way more successfully than the first, but there's still lots of yellow parts left. And I added this hair oil for caring. But yeah, my patience for bleaching is over, so I step right to the color. Let's do coloring. Say hello to my beautifully mixed purple. I used Direction Color Plum and I added Color Vista Washout Ocean Hair Blue. Yeah, leave it in for 45 minutes and then we will see how the finish looks like. And it turned out to be really cute, beautiful, but not perfect in my opinion. There's still lots of yellow pigments that stranges up the color that I actually wanted to reach. So I needed a new dye. Yeah. After the first coloring session, I did a big mistake. I tried to cover the left red pigments, more the yellow parts, to cover them with the more intense purple so they might come out not as yellow as they are at the moment. I did it with foils and I tried to be very accurate. Yeah, but all this works was for nothing actually. I can tell you already that it came out horribly. So I needed another hair dye because it came out real patchy. Next morning me in my bathtub Coloring my hair under the shower because this is way the fastest way. I was actually so annoyed and fucked up and I didn't want to make this session way longer so I decided to add a darker pigmented color so I added it only on my roots to have an even finish. I hoped it so far. And guess what? I dropped the color and made a kind of cool artworks on my kitchen floor. Oh no, on my bathroom floor. <laughs> Here you can see it. It turned out beautiful. Better than my hair actually. <laughs> yeah, let's start with the hair dye. I mean, I need to get ready. 
I need to make photos to take new photos of my hair and I don't want to spend another day with hair dyeing. Yeah, a quick tip for colorful hair is that you always should choose the darker colors before. Don't go, don't start with pastel colors because they wash out easily and if you choose the darker pigmented ones, you will enjoy your hair, your colorful hair for longer than the pastel hair. Hello, finally, purple hair. Oh my god, thank you, yes. Look at the final. I mean, of course, there are many colors in my hair right now, but I really loved it. I really love how it came out. It looks like plant, but it's actually not. It was actually just only fixing mistakes. <laughs> As you guys can see, it was a long journey. It took me about three days. And here I started from dark to blonde to blonder to granny hair to finally purple hair. Yes. I hope you guys like my little overview I created for you. And I hope you like my whole video. Keep up following me, subscribe, like, and I wish you a great day. Love you.